Okay, now I don't know whether everybody in the, in the room has taken differential equations. Yes, no? No, you don't? Some of you, I see some yes and some no. Okay, but so if, if you've never seen this, just note it for interest, but for those of you who have taken differential equation, remember that you uh, talked about differential operators, usually denoted with a capital D. So D of F is the derivative, D squared of F is the second derivative, D cubed of F is the third derivative, and so forth. So you can talk about polynomials in the differential operator operating on now, not, not, not the kind of functions we've been talking about, but real functions that are multi-time multi uh, differentiable, and you're looking for solutions to that, and it has to do with the roots. Okay, so I, I, I've given uh, two real roots. Three is a root of multiplicity three. Zero is a root of multiplicity two. And then I've got a, a, an irreducible quadratic as a third factor because I want to illustrate how it blends with the complex number system. So do you remember the, the equation and solutions like the first, e to the 3x, x, e to the 3x, x squared, e to the 3x? And then uh, when, when the root is 0, e to the 0x is just 1. So the e to the 0x term drops out. And so associated with the root 0, you have two terms, a constant and another constant times x. OK, now the roots of the quadratic, d squared plus 16 is d plus 4i times d minus 4i. So the roots are plus and minus 4i. So now you have a constant times e to the 4i and another constant times e to the minus 4i. And if you want to live in the real number system, you don't want any complex, the constants c6 and c7 have to be complex conjugates. Do you remember what e to the 4i is? What's e to the i theta? Close. I think you want to say cosine theta plus i sine theta. The real part is in the complex part of the thing. Yeah, so I want e to the i theta, though. So I don't have an e to the real part plus i theta. If I just say, that's why I made up this example. There's not a magnitude. It's just a e to the 4i. So the theta is 4, something like that. Okay, so e to the 4i is cosine 4 plus i sine 4. And e to the minus 4 is cosine minus 4 plus i, plus i times sine minus 4. Okay, so in, if those are your complex numbers and you're going to stay in the real number, the c6 and the c7 have to be complex conjugates, and then all the imaginary terms cancel. Okay. Okay, so I just taught you about one month worth of differential equations. Uh, if you've never seen this before. But the, the principle is the same. The, 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 these, the same mathematics is behind both of these. That your solution space is a finite dimensional vector space. So you must conveniently describe the basis vectors.